All right, I want to do a quick video here on uh, probably the most asked question that I get, and that is, I've seen the corruption of the new versions, and now I'd like to buy a King James Bible. Where can I get a good one that's, that's reliable and everything else? So that's what I'm going to cover here. Uh, I have here a stack of King James Bibles uh, that are mine, and I'm going to show you some of the things I've learned about them. I'm going to show you some of these in, in greater detail. So uh, let me give you a look at this. Okay, here's the Bible that I was carrying when I came to know the truth about the Bible version issue. I carried this thing for 15 years. I thought this was a good Bible. I came to find out that it was not, that it was a Roman Catholic uh, Alexandrian perversion. So I ditched this thing, got rid of it when I was shown the truth. And I ran out to the store and I bought this one. This is a King James Bible, but there's a problem with it. As you can see here, it's a Zondervan. You say, well now, what's, what's wrong with that? Well, I've done some research into that. There are counterfeit King James Bibles. Um, this is a, I found a couple different websites that contain them, so I kind of compiled them. There's 102 here. There are many, many more. Um, but you see here, Genesis 1-1, heaven is a true King James Version reading. Counterfeit says heavens. They add an S to it. Genesis 1-2, the true King James Bible says spirit, capital S. The counterfeit says lowercase s. And let me just show you in this Zondervan that this is a corrupted edition. You can see there it says the lowercase s spirit of God. Now they have it right up here. It says heaven and not heavens, but down here it says lowercase s. Okay, so this one and and you know this all these words here. Like I said, there's a hundred and two of them. This list is available at my website KingJamesVideoMinistries.com. You can go there and you can download this for free and you can check your King James Bible. Usually the Zondervan and Thomas Nelson Bibles are going to fail most of these uh, word corruptions. They will, they will contain the corrupted reading. And also, if you've seen some of my other videos, Zondervan publishes the NIV and the Satanic Bible. Well, not Zondervan, but HarperCollins, which owns Zondervan. HarperCollins publishes the Satanic Bible. So when you buy a Zondervan, your money's going to those people. That's why I don't recommend purchasing a Zondervan. But I'll say a little bit more about that later. Now, here's another one. This is the one I use a lot in my videos. You've probably seen this if you've watched any of my videos. This is a Holman. Uh, here again, most of them are okay. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be okay with most of these uh, counterfeit and true readings. But one of my problems with this thing, the reason I would never carry this as my main Bible, is um, you go back into here in the back, and they have English translations of the Bible here. And obviously, I don't have time to show all of this. But they, they go into how the new versions are better and they're more updated and everything. You know, basically, tear, they tear down the King James Bible back here, the text of the King James Bible. So look out for some of this extra stuff. Okay, this, this isn't a good idea. Okay, so I don't recommend some of those types with all the extra notes in them and everything. Now this one here is my main Bible. This is a Cambridge. Uh, this is a pretty good one. I haven't really had any kind of problems with it. This is a wide margin. Of course, I, I have the thing all marked up and collared up and everything. This is my uh, Bible that I preach and teach out of. Um, been through this thing quite a few times. And the thing that really drew me to this was that there are uh, pages and pages of, of note paper back here in the back of the Bible. So you can, you can really put a lot of stuff in there. And you have these big wide margins the whole way around. Okay. Now, this Bible, I bought this thing 
Uh, actually, when I found out about the corruption of the Zondervan, this one here, the same bookstore I bought this one from, I went back and I bought a one of these Cambridge Bibles. I paid $110 for this thing. Okay, that's a lot of money. And uh, like I said, it's a good Bible. But let me just show you something here. There you have uh, duct tape holding the thing together because it's starting to come apart. And here on the edges, this is bonded leather, so this is starting to come apart. And, you know, it's on all the corners and, and everything else. It's kind of disappointing, to, you know, when you pay $110. And here we have Genesis chapter 3. You can see I'm going to have to tape this now. Um, this is starting to pull apart in here. And, you know, yeah, I've used it hard. I've, I've used, you know, this Bible for many years now, but, you know, it's just kind of disappointing when you, when you pay that much money for a Bible. So th this is an option if you want to pay that much money. They have cheaper editions. These big, wide-margin Bibles are, um, they're one of the more expensive ones. So, you know, you can go a little bit cheaper, but these are probably the most expensive Bibles that you can get. Okay, the Cambridge Bibles. And of course, I have here a just a little Cambridge Bible. I actually picked this one up at a used bookstore. And it's, you know, not in the best of shape, but uh, still a pretty good deal. I think I paid $8 for this thing. So you can look around at uh, um, used bookstores. Let me zoom in here. Let's see, it's Cambridge there. Cambridge Bible and it's you know it's in pretty good shape it's older been used hard but but now uh, well, I'll show one more here if you are uh, older and you have some difficulty reading this one here I think is a very very good Bible I just picked this one up this year I just saw it at our local bookstore this is a let me zoom in again National Publishing Company, I think it is, down in Philadelphia. And from what I've been able to see, they don't publish anything but King James Bibles. And uh, this one here is a super giant print. <laughs> and it is, it is quite impressive. I mean, there you have that one. And here's my Cambridge Bible. This is a big Bible, my Cambridge. You can see the difference. I mean pretty substantial the the word differences there so this is a this is a good one I did check it against most of these uh, word changes and things I think I only found two uh, I didn't have the whole list done at that point but this one's pretty good from what I've been able to find and here in the beginning it goes it talks about how the Bible came to us and it goes through the Old Testament, the New Testament, and goes on up through, and it ends with a King James Version. And then it goes to why read the Bible. So they don't go into the new versions then and say that it corrects the King James Bible. They, they speak very well of the King James Bible. Another good thing here in the back, uh, of course you have your maps and everything, but they get into a lot of, um, of course, your statistics and things and weights and measures and what's a shekel and all this stuff, history of the Bible. But then they get into unfamiliar words, and they will they define a lot of the unfamiliar words in the King James Bible. They tell you where the verses are at, where you can find these words. And then they have a concordance. Let me zoom in here again so you can see this. They have a concordance and dictionary combined. So you have Day of Atonement there and they define it and then they tell you where to find it. So very handy feature uh, and, and again this thing from what I've been able to see is very um, pro King James Bible. They don't attack the King James Bible. So this is an option. I paid $60 for it, but I found it online. I found it on a Christian website. I have the link down in the description box. 
Um, I found it for $60, and then I think Amazon has the same thing. I've seen it as low as $20. So I don't know how it's going to hold up. It looks like it's bonded leather, like my Cambridge Bible. Um, but uh, very nice. Got the yellow ribbon marker there. Uh, just a really impressive Bible. I really liked the thing when I saw it, so I went back and bought a copy. Here's an older one. Again, I bought this thing used. There's your national, right there, National Publishing Company. And uh, has the thumb index things here, which I'm not real nuts about. Has the red edge there, water stain here, I guess. Must have been sitting on somebody's shelf for a while. But you can find these in used bookstores that are in good shape like this. I mean, really clean text. The Bible itself is pretty old, but a really clean text in the thing. Uh, the one thing it did have, which I got rid of, is it had a bunch of these old paintings and things where all the Jews are depicted as white people from the Middle Ages, you know, some of these Catholic paintings, and so I cut those out, got rid of that. But this is usually the one I keep up on my computer uh, to answer people's questions and things like that. So this is another good Bible. Again, you're probably not going to be able to find one just like this uh, unless you go to a used bookstore. So this would be a good option too. And most of the readings are, are okay in that. But now I want to show you the, the best, in my opinion. I have three of these things. Uh, I just, I'm really crazy about these Bibles. These are local church Bible publishers, King James Bibles. Now these, they only print King James Bibles. There you can see it's very similar to my Cambridge uh, Bible. It's a wide margin. you got these big margins here on the side where you can write your own notes. Uh, the text is pretty good. It's, you know, it's smaller than the super giant print thing, but it's uh, very, very nicely made. And you don't have to worry about the words being messed up in here. Uh, they really do a good job on the words. And all of their higher quality Bibles have a stitched edge to them. So unlike the Cambridge Bible, these things aren't going to come apart. Okay, so they're just very, very high quality. The leather quality on these things is just super, super nice. My hands are sweaty here. But uh, just beautiful, beautiful Bible. You have some blank pages there in the back for writing uh, notes and things. Of course, you have your concordance. So just a, a very, very nice Bible. This is a red letter edition. Most of what they print, uh, most of them are not red letter edition. Okay, which, you know, that's how most King James Bibles were in history. This is a large print edition. Okay, now this one also has a center column reference, which will, will tell you here's a verse, and this one is similar to it. You can go there. This one does not have any notes of any kind, no commentary, no center column references. It's just the plain text of the King James Bible. This is a large print edition. This is not a red letter edition. But again, you have the stitched edge. You have two ribbon markers. All the local church Bible publisher Bibles have two ribbon markers. Uh, you can pick this thing up and not have to worry about one thing being wrong in it. I mean, this is just and the, the feel of these, until you feel one of these things, you just aren't going to get much of an appreciation. I mean, this kind of junk here, this Zondervan stuff, I mean, you can see, I mean, look at the thing. It's getting all crooked and everything. It's just poorly produced, mass produced junk, basically. But this thing is just, these Bibles are beautiful. I mean, they just, the look and the smell of them and everything, they're just, man like a work of art almost. Now this one here, the third local church Bible publisher Bible that I purchased, this will be the one that replaces my Cambridge someday. This one here I really like the look of. This is called a note taker's Bible. It's not the same as the, the wide margin Bible that goes the whole way around. Okay, this one here, you have your note section right there. So, you know, you... This one I really like. 
I mean, this is just a really nice Bible. Again, not a red letter edition, which my Cambridge Bible right here, this is not a red letter edition either. So it doesn't really bother me. Um, but just a, a really, really nice Bible. And again, the, the feel of the thing is just so high quality. I mean, just these are very, very nice. This is the one that I would recommend. When people write to me and they say, you know, where could I get a good King James Bible? Right here. Local church Bible publishers, they have other styles. They have one that's all this brown collar. Um, they have ones that are all black. They have even have ones that are pink <laughs> uh, for girls. So these are the ones I recommend the most. Now I want to show you one more here. And this is kind of a newer one that came out here just a year or two ago. This is the Ruckman Reference Bible, Bible Baptist Bookstore. Now this was given to me as a gift uh, from a member of our church. And uh, I certainly do like this Bible. It's got um, a lot of excellent explanation down here. And uh, the appendix section is like a little miniature college education back here. I mean, it's it's got some incredible information in it. But a, a brother made the point. He said, you know, I, I like study Bibles and things, but he said, really, if it has man's words along with God's words, can you really call the book God's Word? It's an interesting point, something to think about. Uh, I have this thing just simply for study. If I get stuck on a verse or whatever, I, I'll go check out what Dr. Ruckman says. Sometimes I agree with him. Sometimes I don't. You know, he's not perfect. He's not infallible. He doesn't claim to be. He claims that the text is infallible. It's perfect. But, you know, down here he's just giving you what he believes about the passage. It can be a great help. Okay. Uh, would I carry this as my main Bible? No. I really wouldn't. And he's. this is the first edition that came out. Uh, they've actually had to uh, reintroduce a lot of things because there were a lot of spelling problems and a lot of errors and things like that in here. Which, you know, that's going to be kind of par for the course when you put uh, the words of man in with the text. Like I said, it's a great help. It's got a lot of good information in it. Um, I wouldn't carry this personally for my main Bible. And again, you don't have a stitched edge here. It's just glued. So would this thing hold up to hard use? Eh, probably not. So if you want my recommendation, local church Bible publishers, I still think that they have the very highest quality, uh, best value. This one here, the wide margin, uh, center column reference, red letter edition, I paid $60 for it, okay, with, before shipping and handling, of course. But, I mean, that's a, that's a good deal. I mean, you compare that to $110 for a Cambridge that's similar, uh, but it's not even close to being as high quality as far as construction is concerned. Um, very good deal. I mean, we're talking like almost half the price of a Cambridge. Okay. There are a lot of places that sell Cambridge Bibles. If you're really set on that, um, I'm going to have links down there in the description box. Bible Baptist uh, Bookstore, they sell Cambridge Bibles. They sell a lot of different King James Bibles. Uh, it's a good idea. National publishing company, King James Bible. If you're really looking for a, a super giant print, a little bit big to be carrying around. I mean, definitely would make a statement carrying this thing to church or carrying it out uh, doing street ministry or whatever. Big Bible, very big Bible. But I, again, I really like it. It seems to be a pretty good Bible. The Ruckman Reference Bible, a lot of good information. I personally wouldn't use this as my sole Bible, my only Bible. Um, as, as good a teacher as Dr. Ruckman is, you know, he's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So it's, it's dangerous to get one teacher and listen to everything he says and never really learn for yourself or ask questions. I recommend it, but uh, 
the text of the Bible is what's perfect and infallible, not the teachings of a man. Just keep that in mind. Something to think about. Of course, if you have any Bible that you pick up, any King James Bible, I have one uh, somewhere. Not sure where it's at right now. I, it's up here someplace, one of these books. The uh, Defender Study Bible by Dr. Henry Morris. Again, he has a lot of good information, but he questions the text of the King James Bible. He does the Greek thing and, and all this stuff. So I don't even use the thing. I mean, I'll use it occasionally just if I want to look up something on creation science, but I don't mess with, with people when they start to mess with the book. Just a rule of thumb that I have. So, again, local church Bible publishers. The best Bibles, the most affordable prices. Um, if you want to go to my website, uh, I have the list of counterfeit King James Bible words, 102 of them. There are many hundreds more, but that's just to get you started. I also have links in that article. It's, this is in the free download section at my website. You can go in there and you can go down, scroll down. You can see the link there to counterfeit King James Bibles. I also have a link to this article. It's a PDF uh, file that you can get on local church Bible publishers detailing you know some of these changes and why it's wrong to have these changes and then also the uh, believers organization .org, they also have a good article on the corruptions of people messing around with this book okay and by the way it doesn't mean that the King James Bible itself has errors in it okay because some people unfaithfully come along and mess around with the King James Bible you know, that doesn't mean that the King James Bible itself is bad. It just means that there are unfaithful publishers, like Zondervan here. Thomas Nelson's another one I would avoid. Again, you don't want to give your money to some of these big companies like that. But uh, I want to say one other thing in conclusion here, and that is there are some of you out there that live in a country where these Bibles are not readily available. Local Church Bible Publishers uh, is here in America. Now, to get one shipped over to you if you are in New Zealand or Australia or the UK or, or anywhere like that, another country, you're going to be paying a lot of money. Now, if you're only buying one for yourself, well, maybe it's worth the expense. But I just had contact with a brother in Australia, and he told me how he bought $50 worth of materials from AV Publications and it cost him $51 to ship it. That's a lot of money. So if you can't have access to these types of Bibles in your country, and all you can get your hands on is, I really don't like Zondervan Bibles, so I don't want to mention them, but all you can get your hands on is another type of Bible, and you go to my website and you see that it, some of the words are messed up, that they aren't really written the right way, well, you can always take a pen and cross the word out and rewrite it if you have to. I don't really recommend doing that, you know, but it's they're making printing errors. Most of the Bible's going to be fine. And I'm just saying that, you know, you might not have access to local church Bible publishers. You might have to end up doing that. Just something to think about. But you say, I know the corruption of the new versions. I want a King James Bible. What's the most recommended? local church Bible publishers right here and again I have the link to their website to their bookstore very affordable very high quality I think you'll be very impressed with the, the with the quality of these Bibles so go to local church Bible publishers and I don't I'm not making any profit from this by the way I'm just doing this as a service to you uh, I give them my money you know they don't pay me to do this or anything but these are the best ones out there that I've found in all my years of research. Uh, right there, local church Bible publishers. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching the video. And if you've made the decision to get a King James Bible, God will bless you in your efforts. And he will lead you as you study his holy word. Thank you for watching.